Okay, so I've been looking to uh, purchase a laptop mainly for content creation work, so things like video editing, um, in particular DaVinci Resolve, um, Topaz Video Enhance AI, um, and also do a bit of photo editing as well. Uh, the other thing I was looking for is also having something on the side where I could do a bit of gaming. And so my options really were for um, a gaming laptop full stop or one of those premium devices with really good quality internals um, that also look great. So yeah, I ended up going for XPS 9, 7, 10 and the Lenovo Legion 7. Now I'm gonna be returning one of these. Um, but the XPS 9, 7, 10, that's a 17 inch version. It's got 4K screen, 4K touchscreen. It's got the i7 um, 11th gen processor, 16 gig of RAM, one terabyte SSD. And the Legion 7 has, I think it's 16 gigs of RAM, terabyte SSD. It's got the uh, RTX 3080 GPU. Um, is it Ryzen 7 as well? Um, 5000 series. So they're both pretty beefy, very similar in terms of specs. Sorry, I should have said that the Dell has a 3060 GPU inside of it. So in terms of GPUs, they're quite far apart. So like I mentioned, one of the important things for me is like video and content creation stuff. So I, it was tough to either go with a gaming laptop where obviously the thermals would be better, better heat management, um, and so you get better performance. Um, but then also I really wanted a thin premium built laptop with a great quality screen. And so the options in terms of a proper gaming laptop for that kind of request is probably the razor blade and everything I've heard about them, I just don't want to touch them with a barge pole, so I'm leaving that. Um, so yeah, these are the two I've got. Both very similar, like 17 inch for the Dell XPS and it's a 16 inch for the Lenovo Legion 7. Both are 16 by 10 aspect ratio. But obviously the difference here is that the Dell XPS has a 4K touch screen and the Legion 7 has a QHD um, normal screen, so there's no touch. So that's one thing which I really want because I often find myself uh, working with the keyboard and then if I want to kind of use the calculator quickly, um, I do like using the touch screen or, you know, if you've got those annoying capture um, picture sequences where you have to sequences, sorry, we have to pick the fire hydrant, you quickly tap um, on all the fire hydrants um, and then it's done, whereas moving with, with your mouse and then clicking, it's just annoying. Um, so it's just like little things where I think having a touch screen is really nice. Um, the other kind of key difference here is the color difference. So I know that the Legion 7 on the left has 100% sRGB, um, but in terms of the colors, there's just such a big difference. Um, the XPS colors just look so, so much nicer. Um, and then you look at the, the colors on the Legion 7 and they're much duller. Um, obviously it's got a matte coating on it as well, so that doesn't help things. Uh, to be honest though, with the Legion 7, the screen does look really nice. Um, it's just when you're comparing it side by side with something like the Dell, that's when you can kind of see the massive difference. Um, but it is a really nice screen. Um, I'll be happy with it if, you know, I wasn't comparing side by side with the XPS. This is what they both look like on the outside. I haven't really spoken about ports, so I'll just do that quickly. <laughs> You've got two USB-Cs on this side. You've got two USB-Cs on that side and a full SD card slot. Um, I don't know if they're Thunderbolt 3 or 4. I presume they're Thunderbolt 3 or 4 on all of them. Um, this one's got USB-C here, USB-C here. It's got that little switch for the camera. 
and then on the back you've got quite a few ports on the Legion 7 so you've got Ethernet you've got I think USB-A I think three of them HDMI another USB-C and then the power port so it's really good in terms of what they've kind of crammed in there for the Legion 7 on this side you've got another USB-C and I think that's the headphone slot now the other thing I quickly wanted to talk about as well is the keyboards now with these keyboards um, they're both great actually and the Legion 7 feels really similar to the XPS I think the travel distance are pretty much the same on the keys um, they're just both really easy to type with the problem with the Legion 7 is that everything is kind of squashed to the left and um, to fit that number pad in and I like the number pad I find it really useful I use numbers quite a bit so I find it a useful thing to have in there um, the trackpad is really good on the Legion 7 as well I don't mind that it's a bit smaller than the XPS um, and I actually find the response when using the trackpad or touchpad on the Legion 7 is actually a little bit better than it is on the XPS and that might be because of the 165 hertz screen on the Legion 7 um, but yeah I, I find the touchpad on the Legion 7 really good now the XPS keyboard um, is really nice um, and once you get used to it, if you're transferring from another keyboard, you're going to really enjoy it. Um, the trackpad is nice. Dell have had a lot of issues with the touchpad, um, even still with the 9710s. So it's it's not been fixed. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is that I do miss a number pad. Um, that is a big advantage for me. For the Legion 7, I hate entering things like this. Um, The other thing about the screen or the display is when you're trying to open it, it's quite different in terms of how they feel. So in terms of the Dell, you open it, feels nice, relatively smooth, bit of a wobble. The Legion is just so much smoother to open. Um, it moved a little bit there for some reason. Um, but it just feels so much smoother and when you move it, a slight wobble it feels like there's more wobble with the XPS and I've kind of it's just the way it opens just feels really smooth so I don't know what they've done with the hinge um, but it's really 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 nice um, so I'm really really happy with that in terms of how it opens because that's another thing where you don't really think about it but then when you've got a laptop the smoothness in terms of how it opens makes quite a big difference when you're using it day to day so here's a bit more of a comparison in terms of the screen quality, um, the display quality, I should say, the colours, etc., um, and how good it looks. Sorry, the sounds <laughs> going to be overlapping, but you can see the differences. Like the Dell just looks so much better in terms of colour reproduction. Just pause them both and you can hear the speakers as well if that's what you're interested in. And the XPS. It's so much nicer on the Dell. Um, I mean, it's not bad on the Legion 7, but it's kind of like with a display. When you're comparing them side by side, you can really hear the difference. The Dell's got some really, really nice speakers. This is a 4K file, which I've uploaded into the program. It's 4K 60 frames per second. Um, and all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do them both on the same settings. So um, it's using the, AI model called Artemis Low Quality. I'm going to output it to 200%, um, and then see which takes the longest. So let's just start that. This is a 4K file which I've uploaded into the program. It's 4K 60 frames per second. 
Um, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to do them both on the same settings. So um, it's using the AI model called Artemis Low Quality. I'm going to output it to 200%. Um, and then see which takes the longest. So let's just start that. Can't quite start them at the same time, but I'll do it pretty much. It doesn't really matter anyway. Um, because you'll be able to see um, how quickly it's going to be converting. Now, this is the Dell. And what you can see, currently it's processing at 0.56 seconds per frame. Going to take a total of two hours and two minutes. This is the Legion 7 with the 3080. 0.57 seconds per frame, two hours and two minutes. It's, they're both going at exactly the same speed, which is kind of disappointing because I was looking for the 3080 to perform a lot better so I could upscale a video from 720p to 1080p or 1080p to 4k and I was expecting the 3080 to be a lot faster and in this particular program in this particular program it's just not it's just no improvement at all now what I'll show you next <clears throat> so I've stopped that and what I'll show you next is converting from 1080p to 8k. Now I'm not going to be doing this a lot, but this is quite interesting in terms of the results. So again, the XPX, XPS is on the right, so and the Legion 7 is on the left. So I'm going to start converting in both exactly the same settings, um, and we'll see how fast they do it. <clears throat> so again, this is 1080p to 8k. And both, by the way, both laptops have been updated um, with all the Windows updates. Um, they're both set to use the GPU through the NVIDIA control panel. Um, so yeah, everything is absolutely equal. So <laughs> the XPS to convert this into 8K, showing as 12 hours and 24 minutes, three point, around 3.3, seconds per frame. Now interestingly <laughs> what happens here with the Legion 7 it's half the time so 1.18 seconds per frame and 6 hours and 40 minutes so that's a bit strange to me how 1080p to 4k they both process video at the same time and I've tried this multiple times but then converting to 8k it's a lot faster. I don't know if there's any particular reason for that. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> there might be a reason for it, but it, it just makes no sense to me. Why doesn't it do it faster? Um, but anyway, that's that program. And I mean, they both work well. And actually with the 3060 in the Dell, um, it's, it's actually really fast for what I want to do for this. I was just expecting a bit more out of the Legion 7. Now this is something I also wanted to share <clears throat> because it's DaVinci Resolve and I use this quite a lot as well. So they've both been set up with the same project settings. Um, this is a 4K file um, and it's 50 frames per second. So what disappoints me with both the XPS and the Legion 7 is the scrubbing. The scrubbing just feels terrible and these are MP4 files. So if we're going through, it's just not smooth and it's jerky and it's, I mean, it's usable, but it's not, it's not smooth at all. And from all the review videos I saw, they said it's all smooth and it's great. I don't know what files they were using, um, but this is the Legion 7, or again, much more powerful GPU. So I don't know if it's optimizations, maybe there needs to be updates, I don't know. But 
at the moment I've got absolutely everything updated um, the drivers the softwares the latest versions etc and it's just not great um, I'll show you quickly how quick they both are to render and so it's basically I've not done anything to the files I'm just in a basic 4k render so it's showing that the XPS 4 minutes and 26 the Legion at oh god sorry 3 minutes and 2 I can't focus on that because the screen's not as good. Ah, and that's the other thing actually. Um, in terms of the scaling for apps like Resolved, can you see the difference? Now, if you actually look at the taskbar, they look pretty identical in terms of their scaling like that. But on the Legion, the scaling just is much smaller. Um, I've noticed that in a couple of other apps as well, so I mean, I don't know what it is um, But maybe you guys know um, So yeah, it's it's an improvement. It's the XPS is on 29% at the moment 30% now and the Legion 7 is on 39 If it shaves off 20 to 30 seconds, I mean it's not really gonna affect me. I tested this on a couple of other videos as well um, on one video the XPS rendered something in 11 minutes and the Legion 7 rendered it in 9 minutes and 25 so it's a little saving it's not big again I expected more uh, maybe it's that the XPS is so good um, rather than the Legion 7 is not performing as much as I thought it would so my final thoughts on both sorry I know I've probably waffled I haven't written a script or anything I've just opened the laptops and just spoken about it, how I kind of experienced them both. I think with the Legion 7, it's a really well-made laptop and it's really discreet looking. It doesn't look like a gaming laptop. Um, it looks like a regular business laptop. And I was quite surprised at how sleek it is and how great the lid feels when you open it, how great um, the casing feels. I think it's, it's aluminium, but it's not quite as sturdy as the XPS. Um, the 3080 from my experience so far is a little disappointing for me in the programs I use it's just not performing to the levels I expected um, I mean in, in that one particular example it was just exactly the same as the 3060 on the XPS um, anyway it's a really really nice laptop and um, the reason I'm comparing them both is as well is because I got them both for the same price um, now the XPS is brilliant and um, Dell's customer service is awful so that's one reason I wouldn't really want to purchase or keep the Dell but um, I guess they're all a little bit awful um, the only good ones really are Apple in terms of the customer service um, so yeah with the XPS I think it's a really well made laptop it feels great um, the screen is just probably the best out there along with the Apple Retina displays. Um, the touchpad feels great, it's good at typing, the performance is really good. Um, it's got a full SD card slot, so if you are a content creator, that's that's really great. So yeah, I don't really know which one to keep or which I'm gonna keep. Um, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll have a think about it. I hope it's been useful to some people. Um, and yeah. Uh, I guess let me know your opinions as well in the comments if you want to comment. Um, I'll try to do some other tests if you if you need or want as well. Okay.